He charged with homicide in connection with the death of his father. Police say 40 year old Clark Murray Jr. stabbed his father to death inside their Gale Street home yesterday. The suspect remains hospitalized tonight in serious condition after he was also found stabbed inside the home. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live at Rhode Island Hospital with what police and neighbors are saying tonight. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, we're told that Clark Murray Jr. is under police guard here at Rhode Island Hospital and is currently unconscious due to the extent of his stab wounds. North Providence Police don't plan to arraign him on any homicide charges until he's more aware of his surroundings. And earlier today, we went back to the neighborhood in North Providence where we saw several cars driving down the road, turning around, looking at the house. Everyone just curious to see where this tragedy happened. It's troubling to, to hear. Eight Gale Court resembles most other houses on this short, quiet cul-de-sac in North Providence. Not a place, neighbors say, you'd expect a homicide. I wouldn't say I feel unsafe, no. Um, I, I'm just, uh, you know, it's, it's saddening to, to hear this kind of thing, especially happening so close to home. North Providence police say just after five Tuesday night, a woman found two men inside the home bleeding. The father, 70 year old Clark Murray, was stabbed to death. His son, who also lived there, 40 year old Clark Murray Jr., also had stab wounds, reportedly of a different kind. It appears that they may have been self inflicted. There was an officer who was uh, on scene who was in the house and actually saw him holding the knife in his neck area. Deputy Police Chief Arthur Martin said they have reason to believe Murray Jr. stabbed his father before stabbing himself and will be charged with homicide when he's not unconscious at Rhode Island Hospital. We're fairly confident that we know what occurred within that uh, within that house. Neighbors on this tight knit block now stunned by the loss of Clark Murray Sr. We watch everybody's back. Yep. And it's uh, very close unfortunate. Community. Very close community. And uh, I'm, he's going to be sorely missed. Now, this isn't Clark Murray Jr.'s first run in with the law. New at 6 o'clock tonight, what we learned of his background and what neighbors say of that father son relationship. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim. Now at 6, we have new information on the North Providence man whom police now suspect of stabbing his father to death. It was first breaking last night at 6, and tonight we've learned police had been at the home on Gale Court before. Iowa to Sue supporter Kate Walsh joins us now live with the new details. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, Clark Murray Jr. is reportedly under police guard here at Rhode Island Hospital tonight, but Providence police say he hasn't officially been charged with homicide charges yet because he is in serious condition. North Providence police said they are fairly confident they know exactly what happened at the Murray house last night. Gale Court is a quiet, small cul-de-sac in North Providence where neighbors all know each other. He was just such a sweet guy, you know. It's just really sad. They're now mourning the loss of 70 year old Clark Murray Sr., who was found stabbed to death in his home just after five Tuesday night. His son, 40 year old Clark Murray Jr., who also lived there, was found in the house with what police believe were self inflicted stab wounds to his neck. We have uh, evidence to suggest that he uh, stabbed his uh, father. So we have him under police guard and he's facing uh, homicide charges. Deputy Police Chief Arthur Martin says Murray Jr. is currently in serious condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Neighbors say this wasn't the first time police were called to the Murray house. Him and his son, they are, you know, they get into fights a lot and they argue a lot. So like that's really all, all we know. Like I know that my mom and my brother say like they hear them actually yelling at each other. Um, sometimes Deputy Chief Martins confirmed they had responded to at least one verbal altercation in the past. Court records show Murray Jr. faced a few charges 17 years ago, all misdemeanors. And the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence has released a statement this afternoon in response to this homicide, saying in part, quote, domestic violence can happen to anyone regardless of age, race, ethnicity, gender identity, or socioeconomic status. To read their full statement, you can head to our website at WPRI.com. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.